washed, all right, so that uh, we eliminated all of the air inside uh, the container there. Uh, but in two weeks time, this thing is actually, you know, reinflated with the gas inside there. So um, we'll see what the difference is in terms of the, um, in terms of what happened between this one, which was not crushed, and this one over here, which was crushed. So this is the one that was not crushed. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. Go ahead and hear the sound here. All right, so there's a bit of outgassing of that one. Let's see if this one is about the same. Hmm. They're about the same, but let's try the fly, uh, which one it has more, more zip to it, right? In terms of the fizz. Kind of flat. <laughs> They're about the same now. <laughs> it looks like. Uh, let me taste this and see. Oh yeah, yeah. This one here, the one with the where the bottle was crushed after it was opened, half half you know half filled and then crushed. This one has a lot more fizz in it. All right, so it is true. If you crush the bottle and store it with the bottle crushed after you 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 know start drinking it, um, the less space inside the bottle uh, for the gas to occupy afterwards um, actually helps preserve the amount of fizziness, the amount of carbon dioxide that's gonna be stored inside in solution uh, in the, um, the soda itself. So um, that's the practice. It should be better to squeeze the bottle as opposed to leave it you know, completely as is and then cap it. And so um, it shows in the amount of bubbles on the outside too. All right, but more importantly, the fizz itself, the flavor of this thing uh, has more fizz compared to this thing over here. This one tastes flat, okay? This one over here actually is more, uh, has more bubbliness to it, okay? So this concludes that experiment. It is, has been uh, shown to be valid, all right? Crushing the bottle does help preserve um, the carbonation. Thanks for watching.